Welcome to Just Flaky Therapy and Wells, towing you and your relationship to a safe place. And this is week three of the 10 weeks to fix your relationship. And I am Olu for Lucky. Remember to write down five things you desire in your relationship. That is very important. Maybe you want to do that right now. the week one I said you must be willing to love willing to be happy willing to be at peace willing to be kind willing to be good willing to be patient willing to be faithful willing to be gentle and willing to put your emotions in check you need to get above 60 percent of this ready test it is not testing your being but willingness to be if you get below 60 you have time to work on it if you really really want your relationship to get better if you ask me why you're doing all these things by yourself my answer yesterday today and always will be what's wrong in you being a better person you cannot change anyone but you and that action will produce a reaction and with you i said you need to love yourself in order to love your partner no matter what, believe that your partner is a work in progress and relate to your partner as though the work is complete. Today is week three and I will be talking about you being happy or let's call it joyful. If you roll with life, life will sometimes make you happy, but the happiness is usually short-lived if you're not good at being intentionally happy. I've met countless number of people who take delight in sabotaging their own happiness. Nothing is ever good enough. Even when good things are happening to them, they're experts at digging out the imperfection in every perfect situation. I call them birds people. When they are narrating something good about an event or a relationship, they suddenly drop their heads and say, everything was okay, but... The story can never be okay except a bird rears its head. These people are not only pessimistic about their lives, they also get into other people's business. When you tell them a good story about somebody or something, the years begin to itch for the birds. These people can never be happy. You may not be a bird person. Maybe you just have a difficult time feeling the joyful atmosphere around you. Maybe you're always depressed. You cannot ignore this feeling. You have to do something about it. I don't want you to enthrone sadness and depression in your life. Whatever you plant in your nursery grows, as long as you enable it by giving it the right environment. It's time for you to dethrone that sad spirit. Cut off every pity party. I know it feels good for people to feel what you feel and listen to your sad story again and again. I think you need to pull a plug on the sad music. It's good to have a moment to sit on your emotions, but when it begins to eat you up, do not wait for anybody to wake you up. Get up and clean that mess. Tomorrow does not have time to sympathize with your yesterday today it's time to move on you need strength to deal with every loss sitting down there will steal your tomorrow from you arise and shine for your light has come a happy person is always in charge happiness or joy gives strength in down moments if anyone succeeds in taking your joy or happiness the person is in charge of you the person has taken your energy to be productive it is your sole responsibility to hold tight to your joy by all means guard your heart with all diligence for out of it flows the issues of life Joy does not come from an event or gift. It wells up from within you. A joyful person can deal with life better than a sad person. The question is, how do I find my joy? People will tell you different ways. Party, drink, travel, sex, and so on. They never keep you happy. Joy comes from the presence of God. Don't try to debate it until you have tested it. I dare you to go to God's presence and see what happens. I know what you're thinking. I have seen many people who claim they go to church and are still depressed. You didn't hear me say church, did you? I said God's presence. God is not caged in some location. Wherever you are now, God is there, but you need to be in his presence. Strange, if God is here, how can I not be in his presence? Good question. There is a process. Five things you need to do. Take a piece of paper and write five things you love about yourself, your partner, and your relationship. That is 15 things and all. Thank God for those 15 things you have written one by one. Give words to them, each as you thank him. Don't jumble them together. Talk about them in details. Two, acknowledge the role God played in those 15 things and praise him for them. I hope you know the difference between thanking and praising. You ask me why. You have to do the two. I don't know. That's what God wants. And you want joy. So, so just do it. In you don't believe in God. Oh, I'm sorry. To fix the relationship, you need a power that's bigger than you. And God is the ultimate power. And it cannot be explained. 
so I can explain him to you. I want you to part yourself on the show. That's number four for your contribution to this relationship. I want you to put your praise into your words. Sing a praise to yourself. You're wonderful, you know. You have been so patient with your partner. That is so remarkable. Hold yourself and say, good job. You know what? You deserve it. I celebrate you as you celebrate yourself. I'm so proud of you. Finally, you need to celebrate your partner. Deliberately say those things you've written about your partner to the hearing. I know you've said them before. This is so different. Do it again. Thank your partner. Praise your partner. Celebrate your partner. Not once, twice, but throughout the week. Let's hear from Solomon. Proverbs 17, 22 says, A cheerful disposition is good for your health. Glue and dough leave your bone dry. And Proverbs 24, 10 says, If you fall to pieces in crisis, there wasn't much to you in the first place. Oops. Get your joy back and your strength will hold you up. Run away from joy killers. Have a ready response for your distractors. Rejoice, celebrate, be happy. This is week three of the 10 weeks of Fix Your Relationship. And I am Olu Folake of Just Flicky Therapy on Wells, towing you to a safe place. And I want you to like whatever you're hearing and subscribe to this channel. If you have any question or comments, go to www.justflicky.org.